once again with another campus tutorial uh, today we're going to talk about soft palettes and how to make like a color picker type of thing with them uh, this is going to be running out of the cues and not out of the programmer so it's a little bit different than uh, some of the built-in stuff that you can see here in your Xiaovei demo show which you're going to open in the demos folder uh, when you go to load show make sure your visualizer is turned on and over here, I've just gone to the visualizer and turned the room brightness down a little bit and turned the beam brightness up. Great. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up our interface. It's going to be in an exec page. We're going to choose exec page two. And we will resize this. So first, we're going to put the width, so the number of columns. And if we're going to put the group and the soft palette and then the 10 stock colors, we need 12. And for the rows, the number, or basically the height, we are going to put four because we want the spots, the beams, the washes, and then we're going to store our cues that are going to run the color uh, palette um, down there. So we're going to put 12 by four. It's going to make this grid. Now, we got to copy the groups that we want over it into here. So I'm going to copy these things just like this. Great. So now we got to make a soft palette. Uh, to make a soft palette, we're going to grab the lights that we want to put in the soft palette. And we're going to go ahead and go to color and we're going to choose one of the built in colors here. So it doesn't matter what you pick. Um, if you're using a different show, like a not the demo show, you won't have all these colors down here. You'll only have the first 10 when you start it up. So we're going to grab, it doesn't matter which one we use for this. Uh, but what does matter is that we store it down here. And I just store it at color 100 just so, you know, it doesn't get in the way of uh, other colors uh, palettes that I'm going to store. So in this one, we're going to call it color pick. And it's red, but that's just because we stored it with a red thing, unfortunately. But you can change this uh, picture later. Uh, next thing we're going to do, just for good measure, just for good housekeeping, is to hit view palette and then unlink the palette. And this is going to prevent, I don't know, some funky business happening later where we update some of these palettes and it could potentially change that uh, during the show. Uh, so great. So we now we made the soft palette. We need to copy that soft palette over to the exact page as well. So hit copy, hit that, and put it there. Then we're gonna. Oh, then no. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, turn that button to a link. So it's gonna change sort of appearance here when we do that, and that's gonna enable it as a soft palette. I don't know why they use the button link instead of soft palette, but it's called link. Um, so it's going to work differently than other palettes that we're going to copy into here. It's not going to just change the, the MK2 spot to this palette. It's actually going to um, use a different palette to kind of um, re replace uh, what, what's in it, if that makes any sense. So we'll copy this over to here. We'll copy this over to here. So now we got our group and we got our soft palette ready to go. So the next thing we got to do uh, is to copy over the 10 default colors um over to our exec and then we're going to copy these to here we're going to copy these to there great um now we're going to highlight the whole column or uh, row we're going to hit set region and you'll see the appearance change and the appearance is changing because now you've made a soft palette congratulations but you'll notice this doesn't work also you'll notice that the color pick one, we did a boo-boo and we put it on red when we made it. Um, you're going to want to change that to something else. I like the little multicolor uh, thing you can do on there. So maybe if like uh, totally a tangent, but hold shift and hit set and then come over here and you can go um, and look at some other things. You can kind of use the split color or something, something creative. Maybe this, maybe this one, this is a nice one just to kind of show you, hey, this is like a multi uh, palette. So yeah, um, it updates it here, which is really cool. Uh, all right, 
so now we've made our soft palette, but I don't know what's happening. Let's let's uh, let's select our fixtures and put them at full, and just store this anywhere. It doesn't matter. We'll just store it to a blank um, playback, and we'll turn that on. So now we have um, uh, the intensity up, and uh, we're changing our things here. Nothing's changing. Uh, I think they're red because we. Uh, we have uh, this thing set, unused channels return to defaults. If we make sure this is yes, all heads, then that's going to go back to white. And I like that better. If you're busking, I recommend that. Okay, so we're going to go back to over here and we're going to say, oh man, this is not working. What's going on? Well, we need to have a queue that has the attribute uh, that are in uh, this color picker in it. Um, so to do that, we're going to grab our um, fixtures here. And we're going to choose, put them in the color pick. Bonk. You can see everything change. Then we're going to store this, uh, or rather record it. I'm going to, oh dear. I always like to store in the Q stack store. Because then I know where it is. And then I copy it over to the exec just nice because then if I'm like ah oh, where did I put that and I can I can see the number there whatever but it's nice to be like okay here's all my color things here's all my movement things and then this is nice and organized so later if you have to move things around and tidy up it's kind of easier you kind of do it all in one place so um, now that we got that over to here let's clear out our programmer and we're gonna run that thing and now when we change our colors we can see that they are changing and nothing is in the programmer as you can see, it's separate from the, if we go to page one on the um, exec, we can see that in the Chauvet demo show, they kind of gave us some um, things that look similar, but these are all going to run out of the uh, programmer. They're not going to run under it or out of a queue. So that's how you do it um, for your you know, color picker. Super easy and fast. And if you don't have much time um, to prepare for a show, this could be an easy way to kind of build a color picker that is running out of the queues and then you could do more stuff in the programmer on top of it or you can move lights around or you can add effects things like that um, really interesting cool way to do it and uh, very easy as well so if you wanted to add some fade times um, well you'd have to be careful about the beam the the color wheel fixtures um, because they're going to fade and you know at, in a different way or may, may not fade they may uh, snap but just so you can see, we're going to um, grab the fixtures. We're going to go over to our color and we're going to just type in two and then put it in the color pick palette. And that's going to be a two second fade into that. So then we're going to record that next to our color pick snap and we're going to call it color pick fade. Or you can put it as a two second fade or whatever you want to put it. So then we'll copy that over to the exec and put it here. And what this is going to do is we want to turn these on and off uh, with each other, you know, or, or rather have, have one turn the other off so they're not both running. So we're going to set these to solo, which is uh, selecting it in the view design and hitting this uh, thing until you hit, you see, uh, solo. So there it is. So now we can turn them on and off. And now we're going to see a two second fade if my programmer is cleared. All right, so now you got a little two second fade going on. It's not showing too amazingly there in the visualizer, but you get the idea. So then if we went to snap, I don't know why this thing jumps between it. Sometimes you see white, that doesn't happen in real life. Um, but if you have a sweep, it will retake the sweep. So something to be aware of. Yeah, so there you go. There's your nice new fancy color picker that you made, um, yeah, and no time flat. So, you know, keep on watching some videos. Hope you learned something today. Um, you can always uh, watch more videos.